Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some very, very interesting news coming out over here when it comes to, well, quite a few different cool topics. Number one, we're getting a little bit more nifty and intriguing stuff over here when it comes to the Spider-Man 2 game that's obviously been in development, and we're also seeing like a lot of little bits and pieces and teasers coming out over here, and even more new news have actually come out with that. We also have another brand new confirmed now, PlayStation 5 restock, and we'll probably go and cover that a little bit more tomorrow for like a nice little weekly video and all that type of good stuff, and as well, and also very cool PlayStation 1 Classic a game that's actually getting a lot more attention and it's also kind of a bigger game than you guys would probably expect and might now be actually getting remade so we have a lot of cool interesting news when it comes to games consoles and all of that so let's go dive on into it and as well if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, or $500 giveaway. We have the Twitter and Twitch screen down below if you guys want to follow for bonus entries for the giveaway. We also do have a bunch of Samsung links down below with all their SSDs now currently up on sale. We have a bunch of links for those. Check those on out. They're really good for your PS5, PC, Xbox, or whatever. We also do have the Amazon links and Target links too, as we're going to talk about throughout this video. And well, let's dive into the news. So very first and foremost, I want to go and show you guys something very intriguing on over here. Now, this has been kind of kind of getting pretty big media attention, I would say, all throughout the time, where we now do have the senior community manager over here for Insomniac Games. And as you guys know, Insomniac Games is doing some pretty cool, pretty nifty stuff when it comes to their games and kind of, you know, good old Spider-Man 2 as well in regards to Spider-Man 2. We also did go and see some prior other stuff we'll talk about in a second with a lot more rumors, a lot more dates, a lot more talks, a lot more everything else tied in between. And this is a nice little thing over here because as you kind of see even more confirmations, not 100% confirmation, obviously, but we're pretty much in like very, very likely basically confirmation that in 2023 with all the other various media leaks we saw the gift that was being posted around we've seen the trailer and we also did have the official court filings basically stating that this upcoming spider-man game should be coming out in 2023 as long as there's no major big issues or big leaks or you know anything like that you know as long as everything's all going good like no game breaking bugs and they got to push the game back or whatever but i feel like sony hasn't done too too many delays and especially because they don't have a specific date right now like let's say they originally want to launch maybe in october and they can maybe even push it back another two months if they need to until like a november or something like that if needed but we're seeing a lot more news when it comes to spider-man stuff and we did also go and mention too as of yesterday i believe it was that the Insomniac Community Director, James Stevenson, also was doing some impromptu gifts. We kind of showed this in a video, too. But we're seeing a lot more kind of teasers on the Spider-Man, the Spider-Man 2, and everything else that would tie it on in. And now, I'm excited for this game, and the fact that we're kind of seeing, like, kind of, like, kind of somewhat babily go and kickstart off all of this news and all this information and kind of kind of giving us some good vibes for 2023. I love seeing this. I think it's just a good time too as well. <laughs> so good news with that one. I can't wait to see this game actually finally come on out. And maybe in the near future, we'll have a proper conference and event where we can probably go and maybe have a, hear a little bit more news. Maybe, fingers crossed, please. <laughs> just please. I can't wait to go and see the game itself. Now, for other little quick news too as well, we have also been seeing a brand new now uh, Amazon restock ongoing and probably confirmed for tomorrow. And I'm going to make this video as of now because sometimes at nighttime, we do have a chance to go and see more additional stock with it. So as you guys can see on the pages, this is for all six pages from what I believe is that so all the disc editions, the God of War editions, Horizon editions, the digital bundles and everything all in between should be restocking as of tomorrow. But I'm kind of making this now because we have seen individual email invites get sent out for all the you know lovely folks who have requested an invitation up in there. And as they do that, basically that means you have a chance to get your email sent on out to you and have a chance to get your console. Uh, but we have sometimes seen them sent out the original first wave or a few additional waves at around like a 1 to 5 a.m. range. So if any of you guys are late night owls like me, maybe go and check your email for your spam, promotions, normal inbox folder, or whatever it may be. Maybe at night if you guys are awake, they're not always sometimes instantaneous too as well, so also keep that in mind. Uh, but when it does come with all the stock with it, you guys can go creep on it, you guys can check it out. Now. We'll also probably be seeing the next few, two or three days or so having additional stock ready for all of you guys. And as we go and do that, uh, you guys just check your emails and hopefully go get lucky. We do keep on saying it's kind of like a 50-50 toss-up right now, mainly because sometimes, because it's right, like literally right before Christmas, we might have a somewhat of an uptick in demand. And although Amazon and all these other big retailers have been getting a lot of more additional stock, which is nice, we like seeing consoles, they also might go a little bit quicker. The last one we had, it did kind of seem like it went out after around like, 
I don't even say like two or three days. And then even after that, they basically had their next wave of invite, like this little website update, uh, pretty quick. Like it was actually, honest to God, pretty, pretty quick. So just in case you guys are curious, if you get the email and you guys still need your consoles or you guys have not signed up yet, make sure you guys request your invitations and get your consoles with it. Now, obviously all the normal disc editions and normal digital editions, they usually do go and sell out pretty quick because no one sometimes, I mean, they'd rather have the option to go buy God of War or Horizon either, or it does kind of seem like the Horizon consoles when they are in stock are selling out the least quickest, which also makes sense. It's kind of more of a data game, et cetera, et cetera. But as long as you guys know, tonight they might start sending out emails tomorrow, which I'll probably remind everyone on just so people can commit their consoles themselves. Uh, are also just being involved with that. But we should have a, hopefully a pretty good week and hopefully a lot of consoles floating around and hopefully a lot of you guys will get some good stuff when it comes to it. Now we also have, and we'll do a little bit more of a deeper dive tomorrow, uh, but we do have a lot of also in-store stock that is still showing up. We're still having online stock that is somewhat decently readily available. And as well, I think a lot of folks just on this, I think it's kind of like this last like three or four week holiday crunch. And then after this, It'll probably pretty, be pretty chill, and it'll probably be, I don't know, a little bit more laid back, and hopefully a lot of people can just get their consoles if they've been waiting for that for quite some time. So, yeah, keep that in mind, but Amazon's looking good. Make sure you guys use the links down below, and same with the Samsung ones, too. I'm going to be mentioning that for the next few days. It is a really good, cheap deal, especially if you guys need your SSDs for your console, for your PC, or whatever it may be. Feel free to go check on those all linked down below, just if you guys want to. Now, to give you guys another big, big story we've been seeing is over here on the big PS1 Classic, reportedly getting remade on the PS5. And as you guys can probably see this one, it's kind of uh, some intriguing news. Basically, a new rumor about an upcoming PS5 game rumor will have PS1 fans, in particular, also maybe myself included, excited if it's true. And if you've been paying attention to the PS5 rumor mill in the past couple of years, it's a rumor we've heard rumblings of before here and there. Or specifically, according to a new rumor, a remake of Metal Gear Solid is in the works too as well, and has been in the works now for years. And like some previous Scuttlebutt has suggested, the remake is a family of PS5 exclusive. Now that does kind of make sense because I would love a new Metal Gear Solid game. I'm just saying, like, this will be a very, 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 very good game. But when it comes to this, it kind of makes sense because Kojima's had a pretty good connection with PlayStation, with Sony. I want to say I think even Sony helped fund the Kojima Studios. They helped with Death Stranding. And obviously, like, Death Stranding 2 is probably going to be going to be a pretty, pretty big hit when it comes to PlayStation consoles. Now, Metal Gear has been a very, very scary, I guess, game to kind of go talk with, like, you know, Kojima side and, like, Konami connections. Same with the Silent Hill. But maybe they're finally realizing that they could go and print a lot of money. And at the same time, too, they can do pretty well. So the rumor does come the way of Aria Jogunes, who relays the information provided by an anonymous source. And beyond confirming the existence of the remake, the source in Aria Jonas doesn't say much other than noting the project has been apparently now cooking for years and that the development is exclusively for the ps5 so maybe not in the best news when it comes to xbox users or pc fans but it does make sense too with something like death stranding that was like i said a playstation exclusive so the only other thing they're saying too as well is that the remake could both be announced soon and also then even potentially maybe even release soon because it has been underneath development for quite some time it's kind of cool too that sony does have so many of these games kind of somewhat under wraps but also being worked on because well we obviously want more games to go play at the end of the day but on top of that too we have also been seeing that like you know like these games have been on for a while so we don't necessarily know exactly when they would be announced or when they're going to happen or when they're going to do all that type of stuff but at the same time the fact that they have been ongoing Hopefully it means it'll be good. I mean, the PS5 has been out for two years and dev kits were out even earlier. So if you have like a three to four year dev cycle, I mean, in theory, it could be getting really, really close to completion. Although once again, it hasn't been really released or leaked or trailered or whatever like that. So I have to go and see. But a lot of them are also kind of saying it's more of like, don't really necessarily need the new story or the game design, but more so just modernizing the world, modernizing the assets, and overall making sure the game itself is like still good. And I think, I think that kind of makes more sense. If it's more technical based, you don't have to worry too, too much on writing lines and writing story and development and testing and all that. It might be a little bit easier to as well. But a lot of them are saying it's more of a remake, not a reboot. So it'll be more largely the same game, but just more modernized and potentially play like a modern game too as well. 
I think that's actually all around kind of okay. So give me your thoughts and comments on all these big games and as well, check out the Samsung links all linked down below if you guys want to get the nice easy sales. The Twitter and Twitch streams down below if you guys want to follow. We also do have all the giveaway going on, so make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. As well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway, Xbox Series X giveaway, and all the Amazon links too. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching here in the first place.